You know, we used to have a time when people say, you know, I want to get married to so and so, my father is saying no. So now as ulama, you got to go and talk and see what's going on and so on. And then you have uh, another, we came across another stage where people say, you know, I want to get married to so and so, they're not Muslim, but they're ready to revert. So you got to talk to the father again, and you got to tell them this and this. You know what we tell them these days? Uncle, thank Allah that your son wants to marry a woman. Allahu Akbar. There are others who want to marry men. You know, uncle says, no, no, can't be. Then you start showing him. You see that, that uncle there? He got, I was on a flight one day. I met a man and I greeted him and so on. I was coming from Cape Town. And he told me, I said, what's your name? He says, Sulaiman. I said, oh, mashallah, this, that, what, what. And we got talking and he started speaking about things. I told him also, how many children do you have? He looked about 60. It's a true story. And he told me, oh, I, uh, this is my partner. I said, who? He said, the Hussein next to me. <laughs> Sulaiman married Hussein. He said, the Imam did the nikah. Allahu Akbar. I asked him one question and I'm going to tell it to you because we're living in an age where we need to know. I said, look, I don't mean to be bad. I'm about to change my seat because I'm feeling a bit nauseous. He says, you know what? We can actually get you locked up. I said, what for what? He said, because you're discriminating. I said, what are you talking about? You can't do that. I'm feeling nauseous. It's natural. I can't afford. I said, okay, anyway, I want to ask you one question. What do you do? <laughs> he told me, stop intimidating. Stop. And stop. I don't know, a few words. I just got up and I just carried on. Allahu Akbar. And they have no answer. Allahu Akbar. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. This is a sign of the hour. And wallahi, it is something to cry about because our children are exposed to it to the degree that in some countries it is prohibited to actually look down upon that. And in some countries the school syllabus has in it that you need to teach the children that these people are absolutely normal. And if you have this type of inclination, there is no harm and no problem. This is what is being taught forcefully to the children of the Muslims across the globe in certain countries. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala safeguard us. May we never see such days in our places. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us a deep understanding. It's a sign of qiyamah, a sign of the end of time prophesied by the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.